Hey, Shalom and Markings of Kamba Kapash from JMS London giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Chachadash. When I give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom out there to the hopeful elects pushing his truth and all sincerity. Uh, back again with another video. Uh, this one I'm going to entitle uh, Bishop Nathaniel is taking the P, taking the Mickey, right? <laughs> one of his, you know, the latest video he did, you know, was um, he was warning others, right? Other Israelites. That uh, to, to to stay away, to run away from men or anybody claiming they have a hundred percent truth, man. And you know, obviously, that's shots fired towards us, brothers, beginning of our elders and apostles at GMS, uh, because uh, you know that's what we say, right? We we come with a hundred percent truth, man. Because uh, ninety nine percent truth ain't gonna get you saved, man. Okay, and that's just the real. Okay, you have to know these scriptures. 100% you know there can't be um, errors or, or uncertainty in you know what we do what we believe in right now when Nate is saying this now he's been completely disingenuous right and I'm going to get this word out right it says disingenuous not candid or sincere typically by pretending that one knows less about something than one really does he, he knows exactly what we mean or what is meant when we say we got 100% truth because the way they you know go about their thing is they don't have 100% truth man because they don't know certain things like i.e. the name of the Lord that's why they use uh, Most High and Christ Blessed because they won't acknowledge the names of the Heavenly Father which means well according to, to Nate they don't know they don't know the Hebrew and, and stuff like that so we don't know his name so we're just going to call him Christ and Most High, you know. So evidently, they don't have a hundred percent. They don't know everything. That's what they're saying. So to to equal the playing field, he gonna warn others with those that say that they do have the hundred percent. Meaning, you know, saying that it's impossible. Okay, it's not impossible. Okay, if the Lord is dealing with you, man, you're gonna receive hundred percent truth. Right. Now, like I say, he's, he's, he's so disingenuous to the point that he makes it sound like, you know, we're trying to be like, we know, we say that we know everything. But that's, that's never been the statement that we've made. Okay, things concerning the scriptures, yes. The understanding and, and the breakdowns, you know. Beginning of our elders and apostles of, of GMS, obviously, borrows is very on different levels of understanding and that. But even so... Even the, the truth or the understanding that brothers do have, right? You're not going to find lies in there. You're not going to find untruths in there. They might not be able to tell you everything, right? But there's someone in, in this body or GMS that can. All right? But anything you hear from any of the brothers should be 100% clean, 100% truthful, 100% the truth. Okay, whatever comes out of brothers' mouth. This is why we have to make sure that we, you know, we stay on top. Of our studying and, and our breakdowns, I speak to myself um, included in that, man. You know, um, you know, we need to make sure we know we got the breakdowns tight, um, so that we don't, you know, misspeak. All right, so we don't, uh, you know, uh, give someone the wrong information. All right, and and it happens from time to time, of course, um, but we come back, we correct it. You know, with, with the full understanding. Right, so this is what we mean by 100% truth, man. We're not we're not claiming to know everything about how everything works. That that's never been the claim. All right, that's never been the claim, right? Because that's just ridiculous. I know I know the scriptures say, "Be not ignorant in in any matter, small or large." You know, roughly paraphrasing, man. But you know, Nate Nate is being ridiculous. You know, just to just to play his, these fucking games, man. You know, because there's obviously things that it's impossible to know as a, as a man on the earth. You know, especially when the scriptures do not speak about them. Okay, we know what's in the scriptures, right? That is where that's that's where our profession is, right? In the scriptures, man, not general knowledge. You know, brother's general knowledge might not be the top as you know the topest of things, man. But you know, Nate Nate's being completely disingenuous, completely unreasonable, and like I said, it's just him, you know, trying to discredit us. That's that's all it is, man. You know, it's it's just a game that he plays, you know, to you know, to make himself look good. You know, whatever. But um 
But let's just get some scriptures, man. Because, you know, he's, he's, he's been a douche. <laughs> right, Nate's been the douchebag, man. Right, so he, you know, he, he mentioned this scripture, First Corinthians chapter one. Sorry, First Corinthians, First Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse nine. So we know in part, and we prophesy in part. So this is what he's using as 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 the basis for his um his truth, right, and the basis of his claim, right, that we know in part and we prophesy in part, right. Says, so, uh, but when. That which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away with, right? So once the Lord returns, okay, we're going to know all things, right? Our mind's going to be opened up into all kinds of things, man. You know, things that, you know, are just simply unobtainable at this moment in time in this flesh. All right? But what is not specifying, or he, what he didn't specify, right, is in terms of these scriptures, Okay, we're meant to know all things because otherwise what we're about to read in a minute is, is a complete contradictory or con, 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 contradiction, right? Which there can't be no contradictions, right? Concerning these scriptures, we're meant to know because how, how otherwise could we teach? Now, there's things that we can't teach. There's things that we, we might speculate on. You know, as other brothers and you know, apostles have, have you know, did videos on this already, but there's other things that, there's things that we will speculate on. In terms of like the extent of of, of something or of, of a prophecy, because there's certain things we don't know, obviously, you know. But they're not things that are in the scriptures per se, right? So, you know, how 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 large is the Lord's throne? <laughs> you know, how 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 vast is space and how many planets? We don't know that stuff, right? How many grounds are signed? You know, whatever, man. We don't know that. Okay, we never claim to, right? And again, that's not part of of the scriptures. Okay, what, what we're concentrating on and what we're here to be teaching is, where is it? Yep, yeah. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 15. And I'm going to come back to this in the, at the end, but I just want to get this, this preset here. So that from a child that thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. We, we, everything we know is, is to bring us, you know, help us with obtaining salvation. Okay, the understanding, the prophecies. All right? Because we have to know those things, man. We, we can't be getting the mark of the beast wrong. Okay, you cannot, we can't, we can't be doing that, man. And, and Nate is obviously on some next pathway, you know, to petition, or, or seemingly, right? And you know, we can't afford to get that wrong. We have to know. Okay, the spirit of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Like, there is, that is something that is going to be shared with us, man. Because it pertains to our salvation. Right? The weight, of the, fl the weight of the flame and all that kind of business that Nate was talking about doesn't pertain to salvation. That is just general knowledge, man. If, if Well, if you even call it general knowledge, right? But, um, you know, that's just, a, it was a trivial question. Right? Just to show Ezra that he, re on the scale of knowing things, wasn't on a level. Right? But in terms of these prophecies, especially in these last days, man, we are made to know the things that are, that are contained in these scriptures, man. And it hasn't always been the case, as I'm going to get into, man. Okay, it's really this latter time then, that all this understanding has been given to us, okay, to, to help us, you know, obtain our salvation, man. All right, so I'm going to come back to this later, but let's... Um, Let's get this is first John. Oh, let me quickly go back there quick. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go straight on to John. All right. So first John chapter twenty. Sorry, chapter two, verse twenty. It says, But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. Now the brothers and the apostles they've they've gone into the word unction. Right, I've, I've I've done a video in the past about the word unction, man. It, it, it's a special anointing, right, and the uh, an authority, like an understanding, right. It's been a while since I looked up the word myself. Um, let's see, hold on one sec. Oops. All right, I just put it up in the blue letter here, right? Uh, where are we at? Unction. Prisma. Right, an anointing was okay. It's an anointing, right? Um, 
it's more an unguent or smearing a figure the special endowment of the Holy Spirit, anointing, unction. Right, it's 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 anointing of a special authority, man. Okay. Let's have a look at this root word here. Oh, here we go. That's what this is what I was getting to, right? It says to anoint, consecrating Yahushai to the Messianic office and furnishing him with the necessary powers for its administration. We'll be given the, the, the necessary powers to know all things and to teach all things, right? That's what we've been given. That's why we come out with the, the authority that we do. And that's why we come out with the boldness to say that we have 100% truth, right? And then they can't and won't ever say that because he doesn't have it. All right, so that's that. All right, so it says, but ye have an unction from the Holy One, right? From, from the Holy One, and ye know all things because how wish I has sucked with us, man. He's broken down these things to us. Right, so there's nothing wrong in what we say. But obviously Nate is, is going to, to mad extreme to say that oh 100 percent truth when, when we say it makes it you know what we mean is that we we know everything. You know? Like that's just that's just ridiculous. You know, I can't, I can't even go into how ridiculous that that, that sounds. <laughs> like every, anyone would ever claim that even the smartest person on the planet would never claim they knew everything. <laughs> you know, them high IQ dons or whatever, man. That, that are better knowledgeable and you know them them game show programs and uh, I, don't know, I don't know what you got there in the US man we've got the uh, this, this um, game program called The Chase and you got some just IQ general knowledge dons that just watch too much TV read too many books <laughs> they just know a lot of shit right and um, but they don't know everything so for us to say that we know everything about every little thing that goes on in the earth, that's just ridiculous, man. And Nate is being completely disingenuous. He knows what he, what we mean when we say we are 100% truth, man. But he needs to find some other some other angle to try and combat us to to not make his congregation look so bad or making you know not make himself look so bad. Cause my man don't even have the names, so he doesn't even use the names. Hasn't even got the prophecy or the MOTB right. You know. So again, it's just more damage control for him. All right. It goes on, verse 21. It says, I've not written to you because you know not the truth, because, but because you know it, and that no lie is of the truth. So when we speak, there ain't meant to be no lies. Everything has to be truthful. Whatever amount of knowledge that you have, because like I said, there's borrowers of very on different levels and what they understand and what they know, right? But whatever they say, should always be 100% truth. Now, there isn't meant to be a lie in any of it. Right? And that is what we're stating. When we speak about these scriptures, when you break these scriptures down, man, there's no lies in them. Okay, there is no lies in them. Okay, you're getting all the information that is correct. Right? Um, it's 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 6. It says, your glorying is, glorying is not good. Know ye not that a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump, and that is what we're trying to avoid. Because all these other camps have got leaven in them, man. Things that are not correct. Okay, that little lie, that little incorrectness, right, affects the whole body, man. Right, and it's not enough to to know bits and pieces. You have to. It's got to be cleansed. It's got to be pure. Hundred percent truth. Right, you can be right on ninety percent of the things, man, or ninety nine percent of the things. But for instance, you man, if you get the MOTB wrong, man, and you take that 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 C hit, man, you're finished. It doesn't matter how many laws you were keeping before, how many how much charity you did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How many fringes you had on? You know how many passes you went? To, it doesn't matter. Right? If you do not get that correct, that's the final hurdle. The hour temptation is the final hurdle. If you fail that final hurdle. You're finished. Fail, final, hurdle, finished. Right? Like F's there, man. <laughs> right? But 
That's just just the truth, man. You could be doing the most as an Israelite, thinking that you know that you know you secured your spot. But if you if you fall at the final hurdle and you take that MLTB, you are done. So what was so what was knowing ninety nine percent? Was it enough? No, it wasn't. You failed on the one thing that you know that one percent you failed on. Because you, because you didn't know, you you neglected it, didn't believe it, right? You have to have it all, man, so you can properly armor yourself, suit up, you know, properly armor yourself against the day of evil. These these, these Nate's congregation, these other camps, these other congregations, right? They're not fully prepared. They're not fully armored, man. There's chinks in their armors, man. Right, and when that day comes, man, they're going to break. Because that, that, that armor wasn't 100%. You know? That's just the truth of the matter, man. All right, it says purge out there for the old leaven. We have to purge, have to purge it out. Any of, these, any of these discrepancies or these mistakes, they have to be purged out. Like I said, that's why we have to keep on that studying, man. Okay, to make sure we're always on point with it. Right? We have to make sure there is no leaven, you know, in our doctrine, in ourselves. So it's always a work. Always working at ourselves, you know? So that you may, you may be a new lump. As ye are unleavened, for even Yahweh Shai, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. All right? Um, so we got... Let me jump down to verse um, 20, 25 here. Sorry, 26, right? So these things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. These other camps are nothing but seducers because they, 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 they throw, uh, you know, in everybody's fa faces their, um, you know, uh, different things in the, from the world that seduce you, right? Or, you know, having parties and rap battles and, and all kinds of things, the you know, the, the garments and whatever, man. The facade of it all, right? They they entice you with these things. Now, now we, you know, here at GMS, we give you the straight and skinny, man. We give you raw, you know, and it, you know, it doesn't appeal to everybody, which is fine because guess what? We already want the elect anyway, man. So, you know, F all you guys that are allured by all these gimmicks that these other camps use, man. We just want the elect and the elect don't give a shit about those gimmicks. All right, they just don't. So we're not concerned with that. Okay, it's never been a problem. Okay, never been an issue. All right. But for those that seduce you, right? The, you got you get you know that's why your campus is big or whatever because you, you got a lot of phonies in there, man. I think people that don't really understand what what this is really supposed to be about. Because you got leaders that don't really know what it's supposed to be about. All right, but anyway, it says, um, but by the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teach you all, you all, Salakia, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it have taught you, ye shall, ye shall abide in him. All right, so, you know, once we are up to a level, man, like, and we know these scriptures, these breakdowns, we've been given the understanding that there's no one out there, you know, that is going to, that, that can teach us anything. Once you've been brought up in that level, raised up by, by men of the Lord, by the prophets, by the, you know, disciples, by the apostles, right? Once you're on that level, there is nobody that can teach you anything, man. Because we already know. Okay, we already know. All right. And that's why sometimes it's hard to listen to people, man. You know, come up with their with their opinions and you know the BS opinions and stuff because like they're acting like they're, they're dropping knowledge on you, man. And it's just it's just you know 
it's, it's, it's corny, right? It's corny, it's irritating because you know there's, they don't know shit, man, and they're trying to press on you what their thoughts and opinions are, and it's just all wrong. And you know it's wrong. You know? Then you, you, now you realize you're just wasting time with this dude, man. Like, it's time to move on. Because they, they're sort of caught up in their own vain opinions. But you know the truth. We know the truth. So ain't nobody going to tell us. <laughs> ain't no one going to tell us anything, man. Once we know, we know. The Spirit of the Lord has been put upon us, right? This is, um, And now, little children, abide in him that when he shall appear, we may have confidence. That's what we have. We have confidence in this, in this truth, in this knowledge, right? And not be ashamed before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. All right. So that's that's the that's what it is, man. Okay, we've been given the unction of this knowledge, okay, this truth, to teach it hundred percent. If you can't teach it hundred percent, you've not been given the unction. Okay, you've not been given that anointing. You've not been given the blessing and the power to do so. You're not really coming. Oh yeah, well, yeah. Nate, don't right. You're not really coming in the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Like I said, these these other camps don't. They're not the true men of the Lord. Now you might have elect among them. You know, we've, we've always said that. But as as a, as a group, as a camp, they ain't got the truth. The truth is not there. Okay, you got part truths there. You you got leaven still there. You know, and their track records are not good. Right, there's leaven still there, and you know whether they come to the realization to be able to purge that out, we will see. But <laughs> as of this moment, it's still got leaven in there, man, and that leaven is going to get you destroyed. Okay, because you, your bread is not pure. Yeah, it's got leaven in there, right? So this is Second Ezra chapter fourteen, verse fifteen, right? And I mentioned earlier about um. You know, having this truth 100% has not always been the case in times past. It's really a time of now that we have this 100% truth. Right? Because the, prophet, the prophets and disciples and that didn't have understanding of everything. And I'm not talking about <laughs> the weights of flames and stuff. But in, in terms of like the prophecies and stuff. They didn't have full clarity of, of what these things mean. Because it, it was just, it was during their time. Right, us living in the latter days understand, you know, what the mark is, you know, what it fully is, you know. John could only describe it in the way that he saw it, but he didn't really know what it was and what it, you know, how that all works, you know. But we're the ones getting down with the, the CDBD, CBDCs, yeah, CBDCs, right, and and the, the blockchain technology and and the, you know the the RFID. We, we're the ones getting into, into all of that. They, the, you know. They wouldn't have been able to do that, right? But here's here's a here's an instance of this of this anyway, right? So, Second uh, Ezra fourteen and five says, and, and told him. Uh, let's have a look. Let me roll up a bit. Verse three. Then said he unto me in the bush, I did manifestly reveal myself unto Moses and talked with him when my people served in Egypt. And I sent him and led my people out of Egypt and brought him up to the mount where I held him uh, by me a long season and told him many wondrous things and shewed him the secrets of the times and the end and, and commanded him saying, right? So when the Lord took him in the mount, was it 40 days, 40 nights, right? The Lord went discussing with him the weights of flames, right? The Lord was just telling him time, prophecy, Right, showing him empires, all kinds of things. Right, that's what he was showing him. But what did he say? He said, "These words shalt thou declare, and these shalt thou hide." Right. Now, how perfect he Moses saw it, I don't know. Something, something we don't know. I don't know. Right. But there was things that he was told to relay. To the Israelites and some things it weren't. Some things to hide. Right? So that's knowledge being kept for until a certain time. Because obviously this knowledge is going to be right at some point. Alright? But for that moment it was it was hid. Okay. 
Um, so these words shout out the clear and these shout out hide. Um, right, so that's the point I'm going to go on that, right? So, here it is further down in, in that chapter, second Ezra 14 and 44. So in 40 days they wrote 204 books and it came to pass when the 40 days were filled that the highest spake saying the first that the first that thou has written published openly right so law was was given uh, Ezra's uh, uh, visions and, and prophecies and, and all kinds of knowledge right he was in like a trance right um, and the scribes were writing these books okay so I uh, was it 204 books were made right and so it came to pass when the 40, 40 days were filled like Moses with 40 days right that the highest spake saying the first that thou has written publish openly so give it to everybody everybody can know this right um, that the worthy and unworthy may read it so all can read it right but keep the 70 last that thou has delivered and that may but keep the 70 last that thou mayest deliver them only to such as be wise among the people, right? It's only given certain us to certain others, man, right? And this is why it's, you know this this knowledge isn't given to all Israel. This understanding and this hundred percent truth is not given to all of Israel. It's only given to the worthy, the elect, right? And the elect are going to have hundred percent truth, man. Could you say um, that the law revealed his secrets unto the prophets? Right, but there's always been, you know, a level of uh, understanding that has been held back for the most part. Okay, the full understanding of things. Right, that has only been revealed in these last days. Right. Um, but let me finish just quickly. He says, um, "For in them is the spring of understanding, the fountain of wisdom, and the stream of knowledge." And I did so. Right. So it's not everybody. It's it's not for all Israel to share because. The majority of people just won't get it anyway, right? But in this latter time, okay, this knowledge has been unlocked. It's been it's it's been given. All right. And Revelation five and verse one says, "And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written, within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book? Okay, we talking about these books. We talking about the worthy. Okay, knowledge and understanding. Okay." And it's, they've been locked up. The, the whole understanding of these of these scriptures have been locked up to us. Okay, until now. All right. Um, who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book. Yeah, neither to look thereon. I thought I was reading the same verse. <laughs> Verse 5 says, And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I behold, and lo, in the midst of the throne of the four beasts, in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth in, into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne, and when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. Uh, is there one? Okay, so the point, I think it was just verse 5 that I wanted, right? That Yahweh was the one that opened the book, obviously, right? And with that comes this understanding. Okay, things have been unlocked now, and and the, the and the, you know, the 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 end times is is in full motion, full effect <coughs> in these latter days, right? You know, so this understanding is being kept for us in these last days, okay, so that we may understand these prophecies more perfectly than our than our predecessors. You know, we're able to link the things that are, that we're observing in the world with these prophecies. That have been written down. 
Okay, they weren't able to do that. Okay, like I said, the beginning of our elders and the apostles and their their elders, you know. It's not just been given to us to break down and 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 um understanding has been increased among us, man. Alright. But obviously not to Nate. Okay. Uh, did I finish that off? Yep, I did. Alright, I think that's the last one. Then this is um, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 13. It says, um, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. And that's what Nate is doing. That's what Bishop Nathaniel is doing right now. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Okay, we learned it from our elders and apostles, beginning of our elder apostle hand down. All right. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. Okay, and that is the purpose of these teachings, man. Right? To be able to obtain salvation. Okay, all that like I don't <laughs> there's, there's things I don't need to know in this world. Right? Simply because it doesn't it doesn't help me with my salvation, man. Like all the possible Ta was going into, you know, uh car parts and stuff like that, you know. Like he don't know how to fix certain things on the car. But so what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what if he doesn't know? You know? So what? Does it really matter? No, it doesn't. You know? We're not going to... say We've never sat there and, and, and like, yeah, like, I know everything, man. You know? Bro, come on, man. That is just stupid, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's things that we don't need to know. You know? Like, Solomon knew a lot of things, right? You know, how the beast, you know, the animals worked and all that kind of stuff. Like, we don't need to know that. But, you know, if you find it interesting, you know something about it, and great. You know, it's good, isn't it? You can, you can use that knowledge somehow, you know, in this truth to, to you know, make a reference to something great. But, like, you know, I, I don't need to know how, you know, how the praying, man, praying mantis feeds or, you know what I'm saying? I, it, it's not um, required reading. Let's just put it that way, right? It's not required reading. You know, what we're into is these scriptures what truth we know or the 100 percent that we're dealing with is, is concerning these scriptures and concerning salvation we don't get caught we don't get caught up on the on the on the i'm not going to say small stuff because you know nothing in scriptures is small like that but you know on things that are not urgent you know because the scriptures say seeking not things that are, that are too hard for thee man there's, there's some things you can sort of try and be you know you get lost in man trying to figure out, you know. But it's not important in 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 you know to your salvation. Okay, it's it's just not right. We're gonna find out all those things when the Lord returns and we're changed. Okay, we're gonna understand all those other things that we you no know, we couldn't wrap our heads around at this moment in time when the Lord returns. Okay, but prophecy is not one of those things that we're gonna be given afterwards. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We have to know the prophecies now. Right, we have to know now. Okay, it's, 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 it's part of the, you know, it, it, it's the it's the way, like knowing the prophecies is, is a way to, uh, you know, avoid destruction. All right? If you believe in it, right? And you believe in the salvation. Okay, but you not knowing is putting you in ignorance and putting you in a dangerous position. Like I say, if you don't know what the MOTB is, man, and you end up taking it because you didn't know or was made to believe that that wasn't it, and you take it, guess what? Your ass is grass, man. Revelations 14. And there ain't no way around that. But in your own ignorance, it's because of your own ignorance, you got destroyed, man, because you didn't want to listen to the to the, the men of the Lord. Or you thought or you thought Nate was a man of the Lord and he was telling you this BS, deceiving you. That you already have yourself to blame. You know? So, like I said, Nate is just being a clown again. You know, and... Uh, yeah, man. I don't know, man. 
they they gonna get what's coming to man. You know, if Lord don't wake him up, man, boy. <laughs> I don't know, man. But anyway, uh, Lord, when this is an edifying video, I'm gonna end it here. Um, yeah, so I'll catch you, brothers and sisters, on the next video, man. So till next time, I say shalom.